All right, here we go. The Tapawingo Bridge. 1902. 1902. It's a pretty nice little uh, pedestrian bridge right next to it. My luck, this is the time when it'll fail. <laughs> they can change the weight limit to four tons. Really? This area up here, they have a lot of, uh, they're going to have trade days this coming weekend, and they have a lot of uh, outside events that they hold up in this area. Um, it's worth checking them out and looking at the calendar if you're going to be by this way. I mean, it was a pretty cool place. It's unfortunate, you know, everything was closed. You know, all the cabins and stuff. It's October. All right, well, we are coming up here to the grist mill here. All right, so before we go up to the grist mill, we just want to cross this uh, bridge right here, which is the Tapawingo Bridge from, I think, 1902. This stream here is just gorgeous. Nice waterfall back there. Look how clear this water is. It's like crystal clear here. In the mill, so we'll head up there. All right, so. Oh, so I don't think this was probably the grinding stone, but this would have been maybe the stone upon which the grinding stone turned i'm guessing because this thing is huge and then here's the grinding stone actually right here that's pretty cool i always kind of wondered what they ground against interesting the pattern on that versus the pattern on this yeah that's really cool wow yeah we can see the uh where the water would come through here, and they've got the race. Learn that new word in, uh, was it Arkansas? The race. Yeah, it was at uh, Blanchard Springs Falls, and uh, where we walked by Mirror Lake and found the mill ruins, just by chance. Wow, look at this race. The way it's suspended there. Yeah. So yeah, I guess they would fill that gap up there to get the wheel turning. Yeah, look at this. Isn't this cool? Let's follow it up here and, well, I don't know if I'm gonna follow it all the way. I can't believe this thing's still intact, even if it was reconstructed. Got a bit of a drip here. I leap. Now this is worth following all the way, I think. There you go, you can see the water going down it. Oh, okay. Yeah, just like uh, back at Blanchard Springs, the uh, mill we found there, they have a little dam. Yeah, so here's the race. You come around here and you've got the dam. And here we have the gate that would allow the race to be filled. Right now, it's probably just seepage going in there. And this is pretty cool. Beautiful. I really like these rocks down here below. It would be like the natural cascade here. In a sense, the dam was built where there was already an obstruction to the water or a, maybe some sort of a small falls of some sort. That's way cool. So it turns out that I guess the little trail here ooh, uh, was how they moved the, the grain up to one of the towns up this way somewhere. So it's again, it's kind of like one of those roads we saw back at, uh, what was it, 96 was it? Yeah, at 96, remember there were all these roads made. Might have seen some some other places, but it looks like one of those here. And uh, it's actually what the U.S. Cavalry used to come down and attack the ironworks. Everything else, it's not open, but at least maybe I'll 
go up and see if I can walk around the upper area here. Well, can't go anywhere. Thought I could get around to the other balcony, but apparently not. Now let's go back down here and see what Carol's up to. All right, so we can't see real well, but here you would see where the uh, wheel, which is right here, as it would spin, it would turn this pulley here, the belt goes up here. Hopefully you'll be able to see it, but I think that's just a roller up there. And then it goes up into the milling equipment up above, which we can't see. So Carol's waiting for the just the right water drop to fall. So we'll probably be the last place we stop today because she'll be here for the next hour doing this. <laughs> I think she's been there the whole time I was walking up the race. Saw the roots of this tree, it's just incredible. Right down here below the grist mill. Look at them. Okay, well that's gonna do it for the grist mill here at the Tannehill Iron Works. And we'll see you on the next one at the Moundville, Alabama Archaeological Site. All right. <laughs>